HSC TV and HSC News are public forums for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions expressed do not represent those of HSC schools or the Board of School Trustees. Good afternoon, HSC. I'm Ian Baker. And I'm Kate Hartman, and we're here with your newscast for Tuesday, December 12th, 2017. We have a special guest in studio this morning, Lindsay McCoy, the head of NHS Adopt-A-Family. Let's go on over to Henry Fitzgerald for more info. Hey Royals, I'm Henry Fitzgerald here with Lindsay McCoy, who is an NHS member and head of Adopt-A-Family. Now, Lindsay, you want to tell us a little bit more about what Adopt-A-Family is? Yeah, so um, Adopt-A-Family is NHS's biggest fundraiser, so all throughout the year we collect money, and then um, counselors from every single school in this district um, give us families, and um, the families are distributed to classes here at HSE, and um, students in those classes can bring in gifts for families, and then um, we, you know, as NHS, wrap those presents. So we have, uh, we had 42 families this year sponsored in our district, and so that amounts to about 171 people. Um, we've been doing this for five years, and honestly, this was one of the best years that we've had. We had so much participation from the students, so it was really awesome. All right, thank you to Lindsay and everybody else who participated. Now back to the main anchors. The deadline to order a copy of the 2017-18 Scepter Yearbook for $50 is fast approaching. Be sure to visit yearbookordercenter.com and reference job 8684 before December 20th to reserve your copy. The price will increase once again during winter break. See Mr. Club Busnick in B130 with any questions. If you haven't heard, the spring musical is Disney's The Little Mermaid this year. There will be an informational meeting this Thursday at 3 in the Little Theater for those wanting to find out more info about how to get involved, including audition information and crew applications. See Ms. Armstrong, Mr. Matthias, or Mrs. Chatton with any questions. Stop by the freshman class officer table at lunch to pick up or turn in a card to thank a first responder. Pick up a blank card or bring your own. All are invited to participate. Let's thank these deserving members of our community. Any sophomores interested in a leadership in a, sorry, service and leadership opportunity should pick up an application for the A Chance to Serve program in the CCA office. Applications are due this Friday. Please see Mrs. Herndon for any questions. We of the People competed in a fierce state competition on Sunday and Monday of this week and earned third place honors in the state. Congratulations to all team members and their hard work and dedication. The Royal Ambassadors would like to invite all teachers and students new to HSE this semester to a luncheon on Tuesday, December 19th from 10.30 to 11 in Cafe D. Please sign up and guidance by the end of the day on Thursday. With many exciting things to do in Fishers, let's take a look at one of the main attractions here, the Escape Room. With all the entertainment options in downtown Fishers, we decided to take a look at the Escape Room to see what it has to offer. Well, it came out of unemployment on our son, this, on my husband and my side. He was unemployed as a corporate pilot. I'm a registered nurse, and we went to Europe to visit friends. We were introduced to an escape room there and came back, decided to uh, form a company and be the first to open in the state of Indiana. Not long before we were going to sign a lease, uh, we got a phone call from our current business partners, and we have several other business partners. Uh, we have uh, Jennifer and Brendan Harbin, and they have students that are at HSC. And, um, HSC excuse me. and so we actually decided uh, to form a group together and go into business together because they, they were on a parallel track to what we were to open escape rooms. We decided to go in as a team, be strong, and open you know, in the state of Indiana the first one instead of being each other's competition. The best part is seeing like how you've accomplished things. So like when I would do something like good and like, like a gate would open up, all of us would get excited. So that was like the best part is just knowing that you, you can do things when you have like limited time, even though you think that it's hard at first. We're working at the escape room because I actually did an escape room at our downtown location. It seemed like a lot of fun. Um, I knew the room advisor beforehand, so I kind of talked to him a little bit about it. He said it's the best job he's ever had, and I was looking for something more upbeat. CTV, this has been Paul Novoso and Best Valley. In your club news, Craft Club is meeting today after school in B101. Ski and Snowboard Club will be meeting right after school on Thursday in F207. And the Creative Writing Club is meeting today after school in B128 until 345. Now, let's pass it on over to Grace with your sports news. Registration is now open for co-ed high school intramural basketball. 
Anyone over the age of 18 may register online or complete a paper registration form and turn it into the sports office. Visit hscsports.org for more information. Tickets for boys JV varsity basketball game versus Fishers High School on Friday at HSC are now on sale in the athletic office and the HSC main office. We're honoring the retiring transportation director, Jim White, so everyone wear white to the game. Tickets are $5 each. Now back to your main anchors. For you today, HSC. Have a terrific Tuesday. We'll be back here with more announcements and a newscast tomorrow. Hey, Rolls, here's what's going on after school today. Don't forget to follow HSC TV on social media for more news and school updates.